so buy your companies to draw him on to pleasures, and together, so much as from occasions you may glean, whether aught to us unknown afflicts him thus, that opened lies within our remedy. No. Oh, beggar that I am, I am even poor in thanks. But were you not sent for? Is it your own inclining? Come, deal justly with me. I know the good king and queen have sent for you. My lord, we I will tell you why. I have of late, but wherefore I know not lost all my mirth. And indeed, it goes so heavily with my disposition that this Goodly frame, the earth seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air. Look, you. This <laughs> majestical roof fretted with gold and fire. Why, it appears no other thing to me than a foul and pestilent congregation of vapors. What a piece of work is a man. Well, how noble in reason, how infinite in faculties, in form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. What the beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. And yet to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me. <laughs> No, nor woman neither, though by your smiling you seem to say so. Oh, indeed, my lord, there was no such stuff in my thoughts. Why did you laugh then when I said man delights not me? To think, my lord, that if you delight not in man, what lent in entertainment the players shall receive from you, and that they are come to offer you service. Now here, old friend, can you play the murder of Gonzago? Aye, my lord, I pray you to this speedy voyage. 